let's talk about the new album, Carl. Yeah, let's talk about the new album. Whose new album should we talk about? Your new album. Okay, well, uh, it's Underworlds. Let's talk about Underworlds' new album. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's released 18 March. Uh, it, it's the first one in six years. It is. Well, it's the first one from Underworld in six years, yeah. And uh, I noticed it's... Uh, um, you know, a colleague of mine told me that you always carry a notebook at all times and write whatever comes to mind. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I spend uh, an hour every every morning from about seven o'clock in the morning. I go and find a cafe, and I write every day, seven days a week for so at least early. an hour. Yeah, it's kind of late, really. I've got kids, you know. <laughs> it's it's really late. <laughs> <laughs> and when did Barbara Barbara first appear in one of those notebooks? You know, the new album. Oh, when? that wasn't no, no. That um, Barbara Barbara. It's a really it's it, it's actually a very happy story. Although it might sound sad, was uh, it was one of the last things that Rick, my partner's father, said before he passed away. And uh, Rick's mom is called Barbara, and she was fearful, I guess, of the future. And he said to her, Barbara, Barbara, we face a shining future. And I, that's such a cool thing to say. And, yeah. and as soon as, and when I heard that, I said, that has to be the title of the record. And of course, I didn't know that he was going to pass away. And when he did, there was, there was no question. It had to be the title. Nice story. This. That's really positive, man. Really positive. <laughs> You've been using some unusual sounds like screaming into electrified banjos and scratching guitars. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know, is this the first time that you've gone so extreme or...? It's the first time that the two of us have written everything together in the studio every day. We went into the studio with nothing. We just, with two little piles of equipment and some words, and we just started making sounds. And the minute that we we were excited about the sounds that we were making, we started recording. And every day we wrote something new, two days a week. It was the best time, absolutely the best time. And I wish we were back in the studio now. You'll be here in the Netherlands uh, on stage at Paaspop. Yeah. Big headlining gig over here. Yeah. Uh, will there be loads of new material? Yeah. Yeah, in the show. Yeah, there will. Yeah, it's, I tell you, some of this stuff is really hard <laughs> to learn. It's the, some of it's the toughest I've ever had to learn, but it's great. What's so tough then? Well, you, you know, some of these, some of these lyrics, they're, they're random. They're pretty random in their rhythm, in the way they're syncopated, because when, when we're in the studio, what's going on in my head is completely different to any other time. And so having to put myself back in that place is... is really